Machine Repeat uses industry-leading digital marketing to move your inventory. Get more from your marketing dollar with MachineRepeat.com. In uh, 2010, uh, TNM Automotive was a service business, diesel and automotive uh, business here for, uh, I guess, about 15 years at the time. And Tim McIntyre, uh, who was the owner of that, got an opportunity to get to Mahindra dealership. And uh, he called me, and it, we were, it was pretty much going to be an add-on, just to the service business kind of, service business you can only take it so far. And so it was a kind of an add-on to it. And he called me, I was retired, and, and wanted to know if I would manage it, uh, if we could get to Mahindra dealership. And so I said yes. And, uh, uh, so I came out of retirement, and uh, my background it was not tractors. Uh, we did have an advantage, though, because uh, Tim and, and the, they work on tr all kinds of diesel and tractors. We actually have one of the best diesel techs in the country. He's excellent. And so we work on tractors. They had worked on tractors for 15 years. Uh, so it wasn't something new, and that was probably our biggest advantage of, you know, I, we didn't do a lot of planning on starting a Mahindra tractor dealership, it was kind of an add-on. And in all honesty, uh, from a sales standpoint, I had very little experience in, in tractors. We had a lot of, I had a lot of experience in marketing and advertising, sales and management, and, uh, but very little in, in, in a commodity type sale. And uh, so it took a little while to learn this business. Uh, uh, I mean, in all honesty, we didn't know what we were doing when we started. We only had like seven tractors out here, seven or eight tractors to start with. So, uh, one of the th one of the things I learned very quickly, uh, I say very quickly, over about a year, is that if you don't have tractors in stock, they don't think you're in business. And so, I think we sold seven tractors our first year, first half year. We started in August of 2010. 2011 was a drought that uh, and we sold, I think, 11 tractors the whole year. And I'm thinking, uh, what have I got myself and him into? You know, it's, uh, is this gonna work? Uh, we didn't really have a budget set aside for, for advertising. And I knew we had to have advertising, so I finally convinced Tim to, we need to take a risk and do some advertising. So we started advertising. Uh, business started picking up almost immediately. And uh, once that happened, uh, things just started to multiply very quickly. We had a, uh, uh, I think we sold 37 tractors the next year. We thought we were in high cotton. You know, it was, it was pretty good. And then, and then uh, we had, we had a, a Mahindra uh, service rep, our, I mean, our, our dealer rep that was uh, very patient. And, and I pumped him for every, for about, a, about everything I could learn about the tractor industry itself. And he was very graceful and helped me a lot. Uh, we started adding more inventory. And once we started adding inventory, we started doing television advertising at that time. And then it was just a, a parabolic curve. I mean, it was, it, the growth just took off. And so we've, we've, we've gained, you know, I think uh, we have, we just opened another dealership uh, in, in March of last year and over in Ardmore. And we, uh, it, it's just been phenomenal, the growth that we've had since, since we've done that. 